Okay, here we go. This is my 2010 Ford F-150 Platinum with about 135,000 miles. Hopefully this video will help fellow um, Ford F-150 drivers out there. Because otherwise if you go to the dealership, they will charge you an arm and a leg. Anyways, so this is the issue I had and I fixed it. So when I'm driving, come to a stop. Right before you stop, you feel like a little push. Kind of like if you've been pulling a trailer and it kind of like tapped you from, from behind or if someone rear-ended you, you feel like, hmm, what happened? And then as you take off, same thing. There's like a little push, like a little tap. And you're like, what the heck? Um, and then as you're driving, everything seems to be fine because you're cruising and, you know, everything is seemed to be fine. But then you come to stop again, and there it is again. Little tap again. Well, I discovered what it was. By looking at research, other videos, mechanics talking about it, there's a common thing that happens, and it's the drive shaft. There's a dual drive shaft on these pickup trucks. More, more likely, you probably have one too. And there is a link, which is called the slip yoke. Those dry out. When they dry out... Basically, it, it doesn't allow it to um, function correctly. So as you come to a stop, it, it hits and it causes that bump because, there's, because there is no grease. There's no, there's, there's, it's, it's dried out. So like anything else that you would think that if it doesn't have the right proper lubrication, it would do that. So let me show you where, where it's at and what I did to it. Okay, so basically... You go to the passenger side of your pickup truck, and right underneath, you will see your drive shaft. Okay, where your drive shaft is, you where you can see, you can see that linkage right there, where it's um, it's like a rubber boot. You have two clamps. Okay, so that has to be lubed. Okay, with some with with some uh, Teflon grease. Or even you know that like the all-purpose um, grease that they recommend for for joints things like that. So which basically what I did was I unbolted the four screws, which are a 12 millimeter bolt. Okay, so you when you unbolt those, okay, you're able to slide out the drive shaft. But before you do all that, what you want to do is you want to grab a pin or marker and mark the um uh do a line um where um it slips in and out because what you want to do is you want to make sure that they you when you pull it out and you put it back in after you grease it you put it in the exact same spot you left it because otherwise it might throw the balance off it probably will more likely so as you can see the drive shaft i have it marked with some paint you know, which was kind of like a, just like a simple marker, and it that w that indicates where where it was. So when you put it back in, because there's there there's basically a bunch of little teeth. It's it's a uh, um, a tube, a bunch of teeth, and it slides in the slot. Okay, so as soon as you grease that up, you just make sure. So when you do that, then you you uh, you bolt back the, uh, the 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 back end that goes to the your differential. You want to make sure those are lined up too with the exact same bolt where you marked it at as well. Otherwise, it throws off. And by doing that, you want to probably do a slight lift on your truck. The tires off the ground, leveled. Okay, you have to have it leveled. So you want to put a probably a jack underneath the differential. Lift it up slightly, about an inch or so. That way you can at least turn them. Well, as soon as I did all that, put it back all together. Put the links back on. Um, everything, I went in for a test drive and problem solved. It drives smooth, just like it was brand new. So that it made a big difference. And as an example, I went to the dealership and told them that I wanted to do that. And they said, well, okay, if we take a look at it, it's about $200 just to, just to take a look at it and, and re, re, re grease that. I said, well, I'll do it myself. So basically I just ordered the parts and it, it's basically the clamp and with the Teflon grease oil 
um, whatever you call it they, that they give you. Um, you can probably use any type of other grease as long as it's a either high heat, all temperature, um, grease synthetic, you know, um, that would work for, you, you know, the U joints or any kind of mechanism like that. So, and if you do that and, you, and, and they can get it, get that problem solved, you save yourself a lot of money. So that's what I did and everything is, is back to normal. So, so hopefully this works out and and it helps somebody. Anybody have any questions? Please comment, subscribe to my uh, my channel, and appreciate it. Alrighty, well, good luck. Thanks.